Hello guys, we are at Hillhead Cafe by Bubble and Goose in Tornagrain. Today we are going to be getting some tasty, tasty food. We have got a menu here from Hillhead Cafe with all different items of food. Some top quality food it looks like. Myself and Luke are going to go through it and see what we want to eat. The chefs are just going to bring it out and keep bringing the food out and keep bringing the food out. So I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing and it's really special today as well because this is the brand new menu. We're actually going to be the first ones to try it. We're going to go through as many Oh, off the brunch meals as we can. I mean, there's some just amazing looking tasty things here. If you are passing, it is right up by the airport in Inverness. Please come in. What do you think, Tom? What are we going to go for? Uh, it all sounds good. The breakfast rolls, buttered croissant spats. Well, should we go from the right That's what I'm saying. So for brunch. Let's go for brunch and let's go for the summer breakfast bowl. I think that's a good one. That'll, that'll get the... Start our first days and get our taste buds. Yeah. Tasty. The taste buds will be popping yes. after this. So, waiter, please may we have the summer breakfast bowl. Right guys, just before we start this video and before we get stuck into food, there's a Tommy fact here that Tornagrain is a twin town in Norway called Tornagrain. Wow. Oh, look at this. Look at you. Gold plated as well. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Let's serve us with a smile. <laughs> Real gold as well. <laughs> hey, these spoons are so heavy because they're real cold. I can even do my beard and hair in here as well. Right, right, Tommy. Let's go. We cheers with the bowl. Cheers, cheers. Enjoy. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Is that lemon curd? This oh. is when you know Luke likes food. Is when he starts going. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That's fresh granola. Oh, well, fresh. Heavy. I've never had lemon curd in a, in a bowl of this. Mm. It is amazing. Oh my god. That's a secret ingredient, I think. Mm. Oh my days. Would you like some? Everybody? Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, my mouth's so <laughs> ivory. Oh my god. Hey, that is legit. Mm. I said it once, I'll say it again. That lemon curd is a game changer. Oh, Gucci, if you're watching this, please get a tub of lemon curd. The granola is a game changer. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had lemon curd before. No, it's good. Mm. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You don't even get messed in this, in mm. this cafe because. You look at the spoon, you take your face, you wipe off the margins, mm. and you put it back in. See that? That was absolutely... So in that, that was granola, yogurt, summer berries, and some curd, some lemon curd. And also, that is vegetarian. Uh, lemon curd is a game changer in that. Oh my taste, that was amazing. That was banging. Another ten, please. Coffee. A Michelin right. star coffee. What is oh. next? Because have you ever seen have you ever seen that those coffees out in Vietnam? There we go. No, no. But they, they some animal eats them and then they they do the toilet and the beans come out of their their stool and then they use that to make the coffee. That's what I imagine that type of coffee to taste. Right, like. So we go out here and get a seal to mm. do that. No, but it's supposed to be like the best coffee in the world. It's the most expensive coffee. This is what this must be. Next in the brunch menu, we have the buttermilk pancakes. <laughs> Are you going for that? Boom! I'm going for that. Buttermilk pancakes. Servants. Smoke streaky bacon. Oh, a cornage crowdy. Don't know what that is. Cream. Well, we, we look forward to it. Cream. Surprise, you know, this is going to be another top notch. Blueberry sponge. and some maple syrup. Come on, the pancakes. Two lots of pancakes coming right up. 20,000 calories. What are you saying? Easy, we're going to nail this. That was so tasty, mate. Give it a round of applause. Thank you. Oh, come on, the pancakes. Oh my god. Mm, that smells fresh as well. Oh, thank you so much. 
vorne hat hat die. Oh. Hey, Dan. 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 Oh, man. Wow, they're so, so soft, those pancakes. Wow, you know, it's like eating air. You usually have to chew about 25 minutes to get these done, right? But look at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. 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 Oh my days. Good thing about these pancakes as well. They're under a tenner, which is which is amazing for this type of quality. These are amazing. Legit, I think these are the best pancakes I've ever had. I'm not even lying. They're a step up from my hop anyway. Mm. Mm. Oh, no one. Usually you have to put a big graft in when you're eating pancakes, but these just like. Mm. Now. Mm. I can get used to the Michelin star chefs cooking for me. Mm. Might move here. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the road there, right? Mm. Oh my wise. Oh my wise, oh my words. <laughs> oh, yes. oh my lies, dude. Oh my lies. Have you tried these pancakes? No. Oh my god, mate. Oh, so nice. Like, so, it's like eating air. So fluffy. No. <laughs> mm. Jeez, oh, this rolls. It's wow. amazing. That's so tasty. I don't usually have sweet stuff and bacon together. I usually have separate, but this goes great. Sweet stuff is so nice. So amazing. Oh my goodness. That's what makes it with a pancake dance. <laughs> Pancakes are usually pretty bloating on your belly and that, ain't they? But these were soft and perfect, so. What's it like eating here? That was amazing. So that was the pancake stand. So, we've, so far we've done the summer breakfast bowl and the buttermilk pancakes. So next up on the menu is salmon and eggs. So I am really excited about that. I love salmon and smoked, uh, so smoked salmon and eggs. Unfortunately, Tom doesn't. I like fish and eggs, but not together. So I'll give Luke my salmon. So I'm going to have a double portion of salmon. <clears throat> Good Amiga 3. Mm. Good for your joints. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Good, good because it's from the sea. Mm. 
this way. So how much calories you can find? I don't know. I, I feel like we're just warming up. I feel like we're just. just like, Excuse me. Can I just see that you've got a thing in your nose here? Okay. Oh, I was going to leave it the whole video. <laughs> calorie wise, I think this menu is probably equates to about twenty thousand calories. So. The well, guys are going through yet, are we? So, yeah, I think we can do it. So far, I'm, I'm feeling good. That uh, that granola was um, absolutely amazing. Like I said, the lemon curd was. That was a winner. That was a winner for me. Um, the pancakes were the best pancakes I've ever had, hands down. So I'm really excited to see these. Uh, so Highland smoked salmon, avocado puree. Oh my goodness. Oh, avocado, avocado puree. <laughs> wow. I didn't, you didn't tell me that was when, when things When things have puree in it, it means it's dead fancy. So that's when you can tell us award winning chefs, Mitchell and Train chefs, cooking you your breakfast. So, I mean, this time next year, I could be a, a Mitchell and chef. No, you couldn't. I mean, you could. Well, the one said I was going to win World Strong Mom, but look at me. Yes, did. So I could, and you're in a kitchen. Literally, everyone said you were going to win World Strong Mom. So everyone could say, Sam, am I going to be a Mitchell and Star chef? No. God, am I? Look, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, buddy. Sign me up, boys. I think I'll probably cook the food. <laughs> Shut up. I'll probably. Oh, that's a violation. I'll probably. <laughs> violation. I'll probably cook the food and eat it while I'm cooking it. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's all about this presentation as well as the taste. Oh. Oh. You like? You know it's a good place when you don't have about a thousand seeds in your lemon. Look, you can just drizzle a lemon. No seeds. Oh my goodness. Hey, I have a nice that, that little things like that. Sorry, no seeds in your lemon makes a big difference. So restaurants, get it sorted. I never ever put lemon over my food before. So Are you going to try it just to see, Tom? Yeah, I'll try it. Just cut that. See what to do. A little bit of salmon. I don't have to eat. You know. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh, good. What? All this. What? Actually, all of them. Wow, we've got all that amigo sweet. Mm -hmm. Avocado puree. Kind of waiting time in here like five minutes. Jeez. Usually you have a start, you sit back for an hour, then you get another food. It's like constant like a choo choo train, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you sit, boys. I'd probably sit in here and do the whole menu in about half an hour, but you go to like, mm. you go to another restaurant, you do one sitting in half an hour. That avocado puree is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I want that rest. That's good. What do you think's in it? Avocado? Mm. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Mm. That's actually one of the most impressive things mm. I've ever seen in my life. Oh wow. That was meal three. Meal three. What have we had so far, Tom? Read it out. We have had... To the camera. Yeah, Tell I'm the people. See, I can't see that. Okay, please. Well, <laughs> Ladies right, surgery, good morning. We have had summer breakfast bowl. We have had buttermilk pancakes. Oh. And we have had salmon and eggs. Oh. Next up is the tornagrain. Oh. The breakfast. The main event. So we've had our warm-ups. We've had our starter. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you very much. And here we have... Dun dun dun. Oh, oh wow. Oh. That's too nice to eat. I just look at it for a wee while. What's that green stuff? Yeah, I've got actually little bits of dripping on it. Oh. What is that? Oh, it smells so nice. I mean, even a tomato looks good. I just think they look soggy and crap. <laughs> and I, I like to, I'm going to eat this tomato for me. The moment of truth, right? Like, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, take a boost, son. Right, let's do my own. That's so good. That. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's oozy. The only way you should eat poached eggs is soft poached eggs. If you eat hard poached eggs, you are mental. Well, I don't know. I thought it was a bit of toast that was underneath. Was, oh, it's bacon. Bacon. Oh, my goodness. No, it's not. It's a joint or something. Look at that bit of bacon. Oh my god. That's a prank. I thought it was a bit of toast. It was hard to go. Is that a bit of meat? Oh, what have we got here? What's this? Oh, a bit of ketchup. 
Oh, and a bit of brun. Homemade brun sauce. You can tell it's mixed when I can even smell the five stars off it. Oh, smell the five stars. That's what I've got one of those. No, you're fine. You're fine, honest. <laughs> Any suits? Oh, the brown sauce. Open. Just to get in here and out. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> we talk about the fear. Oh. oh, that was meal number four. We have had summer breakfast bowl, the buttermilk pancakes. Um, so there are two vegetarian meals, and then we went on to the meat eaters feast. We had the salmon, the smoked salmon, and scrambled eggs, and then we had the tornigrain breakfast, which we just had there. This is a reminding me of world's strongest man, <laughs> the fifth meal at night. So we've had four meals so far, and now next up we're going to actually try the vegan one on behalf of my wife Cushy. This is something that she can eat and also the Mulgan brothers. The next time you're up, Jordan and Neve will take you here for a nice vegan breakfast. I am in the morning, I've done my daily calorie already. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is nice to see, you know, the Hellhead Cafe supporting the vegetarians and the vegans, because obviously there is a lot um, of vegetarians and vegans out there. Tom and I obviously aren't one of the vegans, but they do have a full range for the vegans and other intolerances. Oh, what have we got now? The oh, vegan breakfast. Oh. It's very, it looks very different than the normal bread. It looks very vegan-y. Wow, thank you very much. Slabs of custard. Mm. I love vegan stuff. Right, I'm actually going to taste Right, this, I'm actually curious to see if this tastes, is this vegan cheese? Right, I've never ever had vegan cheese before, so let's try this thing. I'm going in it with an open mind in this. Mm. I don't know how I think of that. Spicy. <laughs> that is spicy. Definitely vegan. It's how it's not vegan. Oh, it's how it's not vegan. Is that what you asked me? No, I said it's how it's not good for you. Uh -huh. Rewind. Oh. oh, that's spicy. Yeah, it's a very good dish. It's a very, very good dish, especially I think the vegans are going to love this. It's different, and yeah, I think they're going to enjoy it. That's spicy. They're quite spicy. The beans are quite spicy. We're not vegans, so. Not my favourite dish, but I'm sure if you're a vegan, what we're trying to say is there's an option for vegans here if you want to come and eat, which is good. Would I choose to eat it again? Of course not, because I'm not a vegan. But Martin just eat it. Meal number five. So let's go through it again. We've had the breakfast bowl, the pancakes, the salmon and eggs, the tonic grain breakfast, and the vegan breakfast. Oh, five meals down. I'm feeling amazing. The last meal of the day, drum roll please. The breakfast. Shame. Water. Why drink water from a glass when you can drink it from the jack? You're gonna have this, but you're gonna pour it in a glass. Imagine how much time that was wasted. Why don't you just drink it? from the actual jack. It's so stupid. Look at me, I've got a Bugatti parked outside. I think I've got time to pour water in a glass. No. Drink your water from a jack. So why do you use time? Why do you, got your, why do you pa pack your Bugatti outside when you can just park it in the restaurant? Does it not save time walking? <sighs> oh my god. Oh, oh. 
Oh my this. god, look, so this is this is the Hill Head breakfast sharing board. So we have overnight oats with yogurt, strawberries included, pancakes with streaky bacon, and granola bar with raspberries. This is funny that we're eating oats at the last minute. Oh, here we go. So I guess it's a great addition to the menu up here in Hill Head. It's a sharing platter, so you can come in here, chill, get fed. Mm. It's their food. I've never seen something like this for breakfast. I've only ever seen cheese boards, so, so and meat platters. You know, take your partner, take your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever. Have an intimate breakfast experience. Just like me and Tom. Oh, baby. Mm. That's not too thick, that's well good. Feels like I'm the world's strongest man training again. I need to be world's strongest man in my head. You know what you're doing this for, Tom. You're doing this for worlds. Only 200 days to go. Right, what do you go for now? Oh my god. I want that thing. Oh. I've never been so happy to eat five meals in my life. So light. Mm. Oh. Mm. Eat your food. I'm sharing it with you. I know. But eat it. I know. I'm taking my time. I'm enjoying every mouthful. I'm letting you enjoy your food out. Thank you, Tom. I'm 20 kilograms heavier than you. You need to remember that. I'm losing weight, you're trying to get... I you're 169. Yeah, yeah. So you're 10 kilos, so you're heavier. Sorry, I'm 10 kilos. So this might add some weight. Oh, my goodness. Very proud to me, you can eat, man. Jeez. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I've had the pumpkin rice, I'm going to try a bit of this. Uh -huh. Let's have a quick experiment. <laughs> You're laughing at me. Did you say look at this experiment? Alright. Oh. Oh. The part of my eye I'm trying to eat, all I hear is just eating this. How do you say it? Oh my god, I'm not going to do that. Come back for lunch in the day. Um, Another thing I was thinking was... Oh my god. <laughs> you said driving down the road. You just left me hanging. What do I do? I was like this. Oh, that's it. Wow. Right, hey guys. The breakfast menu is damn for sure. How many meals? One, two, three, four, five, six. So for that is the the breakfast menu or the brunch menu done at Hill Head. So we'll have a quick run through it and then we'll pick our favourite meal eventually. So first of all, summer breakfast bowl, buttermilk pancakes, salmon and eggs. The tortilla grain, the full breakfast, the vegan tortilla grain breakfast, um, and then, last by no means least, the breakfast shading board. All absolutely stupendous. Do you want to pick a favourite? 
right. I loved, loved the pancakes, but that breakfast bowl hit me differently for some odd reason. It was really nice. So I, I like the lemon sorbet, but no, it wasn't, it wasn't the curd, lemon curd. curd. I like the lemon curd in it, and the granola is the best I've had. So I thought the granola bowl. I could have had five or six of them. They were really, really nice. And then the butter cake pancakes, unbelievable Texas. Yeah. Yourself, look. Oh. I, I, if, if the summer breakfast bowl was on the shading board, that would have been my favourite because that lemon curd, like you say, hit me differently. But I think my favourite one was the butternut pancakes. The pancakes were oh, like top notch and plus they're under a tenner as well, so value for money up here in Hilton Park. Usually with pancakes, you take an effort to chew them, oh. they just go down your throat and you're like ready for the next meal. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. But I really like the shading board, that was one of my surprise standouts because I've never had that before. You know, the Kushi and I were here, it'd be nice because I would eat it all and Kushi would have a strawberry. So. It, would, it fills you up, mm. it would fill you up as well. So, so I think that was about 20, 25,000 calories that we just had there, so it was a very substantial meal. We will be back to try the lunch menu very, very soon. Big thank you to Hillhead Cafe by Bubble and Goose for hosting us and cooking us this delicious six courses of splendid breakfasts. So if you guys are passing, passing the airport in Marais, pop into Tornet Green. You might see us here having a little bit of breakfast because I think I will be a frequent visitor up here. Don't know about you Tom. Yeah, 100%. There's a challenge for you. Come to all six courses and then try and fly on a 10 hour flight and see how you get on. Good luck with that one. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. That was our sixth meal challenge up here at Hellhead. We completed it. Thank you very much and guess what guys, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.